just planting crops, having them grow and then selling them. In fact, it's, it's much, much more. Uh, it's, uh, it's more of a science than an art, I suppose. And South African farmers don't have to do it on their own. There are many trained and qualified extension scientists advising and assisting farmers with the integral information needed to produce the most fruitful yields years in and uh, year out, whatever they're actually growing. These extension scientists are registered with the South African Council for Natural Scientific Professions. It's quite a mouthful, I know. But the deployment of the extension scientists is a new and positive step for the natural sciences landscape of South Africa, offering them professional recognition and support uh, from an extensive network of services. But l let's speak to the experts now, and uh, we'll talk to Rolf Becker, who is the executive director of, I don't even, I actually don't even know how to say that. Is it SACNASP? SACNASP. Okay, yes. so it's mm -hmm. SACNASP. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this and tell viewers as well, because it, it could be the very first time that many of us are hearing about this. Right. Uh, the South, South African Council for Natural Scientific Professions, SACNASP, <coughs> is the regulatory body for natural scientists in South Africa. Yeah. Uh, an equivalent could be something like the Pharmacy Council, uh, where professional natural scientists register with the council uh, in order to be able to practice their profession. Yeah. And uh, the, the extension scientist is a new kid on the block. Uh, the field of practice was promulgated in January this year, and uh, we are now busy with a rollout to bring extension scientists into the professional fold, something that the extension scientists feel should have happened many years ago, and we're very proud to now be able to take this forward. What professions are we talking about? Uh, SACNASP itself, uh, it's virtually anything from nuclear physics to agriculture via mathematics, uh, anything that has got to do with the natural sciences, environmental sciences as well okay. falls under the Natural Scientific Professions Act yeah. of 2003, which makes it compulsory for these practitioners to register. And mm -hmm. how do you work with the extension scientists? What, what is your sort of your role? Well, our, our role as the regulatory body uh, for start is now to, to make them aware of the need to register. Uh, as professionals with the council, and we'll be rolling that out into the provinces over the next few months, uh, starting with KwaZulu Natal next next month. We'll have a n number of uh, networking sessions uh, with with the extension scientists in the province yeah. to make them aware that they should register. Yeah, uh, yeah. What about um, farmers? I mean, do they do they um, do they widely use extension scientists? Is it is it a used practice? Yes, or is very, it much. So very, very much. Very much so. so oh yes, them? yeah. Uh, you, you see. The, s the scientific farming techniques advance at a very rapid rate now. I'm not an expert in extension science, but having spoken to a number of them over the, the last few months, uh, the scientific knowledge really makes it possible for farmers to improve their crops and to be better farmers. And uh, the extension scientists are this link between the science and the research and the actual practicing farmer. Yeah. So it's a very, very important link, we believe. Uh, now, now, you, your organization attended the 2014 South African Society for Agricultural Extension conference. Now, this was held last week in <coughs> George. Right. What was it all about? What was your contribution? Uh, well, it, it was basically the rollout of this professionalization of the extension sciences took place at this conference. Uh, the South African Society for Agricultural Extension is the supporting society uh, that assists SACNASP to do the registrations, that lays the criteria uh, that tells us what the qualifications are that are needed for extension scientists to register. So they form a very integral part of the whole exercise together with the Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries. And uh, it was a rollout and the start of the uh, registration process. And, and I'm very glad to be able to say that more than 100 people signed up right there and then at Fantastic. the conference already. So there's a real momentum and the excitement about this. And yeah. th that's good for, for South Africa, I think. Good. Well, thank you for coming mm. in and talking to us about it. And we wish you all the best going forward. Rolf Becker, the executive director of SACNASP. And let me tell you, SACNASP is the South African <laughs> Council for Natural Scientific Professions. Oh, we well learn done. every day. Yeah, well done. Thank you for <laughs> thank the opportunity. You. It's an absolute mm. pleasure. Thank you very much, Rolf. All right, let's take